So the couch is almost finished. I've got two more pieces to put in here and then I can show you how it works. <laughs> no, on the couch, there are, over here, can you see over here, we've got the big hinges and so when the board slides in and out, because it's going to slide in and out, um, so I've put a bit of a, a lip on here, so it slides when you slide your couch and it nicely flips like up. Like an angle. Yeah, like an, an, angle. an angle, but the problem is it won't slide over the hinge because the hinge is sitting up too high and it lifts the wood up and so I'm just chiseling out a piece in here that will sit nicely over top of the hinge. Good thinking Batman. Yeah. So we were just talking about how well the couch is going and isn't it amazing because after my stroke I make so many dumb mistakes and we were just about to screw the last two pieces in and we have snapped the drill bit off and the last slat that's got to go in so we're out of drill bits that size <laughs> i was like yay the couch is finally finished but now we've got to go into town and get the right size drill bit otherwise if it's too big the screws in this particular wood the screws won't hold obviously um, but if it's too small this wood splits really easy um, so you have to use just the right size to get it right and so I was this close to getting the couch finished however we can show you how it works anyway so moment of truth we're gonna see if this lifts up and pulls out like it's supposed to um, we've obviously got the I've just left the last two bits out until we get a new drill bit to get them in so basically, you know, we've got our nice front on the couch. We've sort of made it look the same all around. But because we need to convert this into a bed, there's gonna be, we're gonna put some nice, probably brass handles on here at some stage. Um, so it's gonna look a bit dodgy the way I'm doing it. But the idea is it should, by rights, <laughs> lift up, look at that. Yay. So we can lift it up for storage. Hey, oh, yeah, that's right. I thought one of the things that come out that is the leg. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and then it should. Is it going to work? Whoa! I should have on to that. Should we do that again? No, do that. So that slides out to there. Um, I've just got to make a couple of adjustments because in my lack of clever thinking these days, I didn't take into account when I was measuring the distance it had to pull out. Um, the two bits at the back here where I had to put the hinges on so you'll find that distance there is this distance here because I measured from the wall instead of taking into, in, into account that I needed to hinge the back so all I'm going to do is replace this piece here with a thinner piece like this so when it's in I've got to build I'm going to put a I'm getting a sort of piece of angled wood to put along here just to cover the fronts of our slats so when I put that on that'll give us another half an inch and when I replace this piece with a narrower piece here that'll give us another inch to pull out and that should by rights get us just about out to the end of the couch so yeah so that's our couch it'll be easier once we've got handles and everything on here yes oh yeah once we have handles we could put good. some um, candle wax or something on yeah, this, oh, we need to do between that, the so. slats Normally that should come out a lot easier than that. But that'll be... I think it's going to be strong enough. It'll be a bit, hopefully. You should sit on it. So, sit on it. There's some big holes in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
yeah, seems to work. I'm feeling pretty confident. <laughs> A what? Non-leaking kettle. Our kettle we had for the last three, almost four years, leaked, like dripped everywhere when you poured it. So it's pretty exciting to have a new kettle. It's the little things that matter. <laughs> so last video you saw us picking up the cabinet, this one here. So the cabinet has now been painted, looks completely different. We haven't got the drawers or anything in yet, still got to put the cupboards on. But it's all been sanded down, completely repainted. We've got a bench top, woohoo! No sink in it yet, we've still got to cut the hole for the sink. So we're just trying to decide whether we're going to put our gas stove on top of the bench here, or on the other side of the bus where we're going to build some cabinetry and put the fridge. You'll also see we've now got our divider wall up between the couch and the kitchen so I can put my cup of coffee here in the morning um, so yeah so that's all on now and we've just used wood glue for that so we don't have any screws sort of showing in it um, kind of like the two-tone of the wood so yeah so we're getting there um, still a long long way to go but definitely a lot further than we were and it is a, a work in progress I guess and we can only do so much of the time unfortunately i would like to have it finished and be sitting on a beach now to be honest because we're getting some really stunning weather we did actually um for new years go out and spend a night on the beach and we took our bus just through some mattresses on the floor right yeah so with the kitchen we've got our bench that we've put in that was already sort of pre-built that we got out of the uh, somebody's garage however at the back here there's quite a gap um and cindy has asked if we can extend the depth of the cupboards uh we're not going to do it here because um here we're going to put once we've got our wall up we're going to put a wall up here we're going to have a little door here so we've got storage for like our seats and stuff along the back so we're just extending the one cupboard at the end so we can put a bit more stuff in it and so what i've done is i've built um the same shape as the cupboard just to extend and that's just going to literally we'll put it back on it in a minute and that's just going to slide down inside like so and we have a bigger cupboard so i shall go and put it back on that now and then attach it to the back of our cabinet and we've got lots more well, lots more storage, a little bit more storage anyway. All right, so it's not fitted properly yet, but there's our cupboard extension, all built and painted. And so now we'll just have to attach it to the back of the cabinet and we're good to go. So yeah, so we've got a bit of progress done on the bus this week, but not huge amounts, because um, unfortunately I had a Bit of a surprise trip to the hospital and um so yeah so i've just got to take it easy at the moment um but yeah all good fun we'll get there <laughs>